Oh look, they're trying to try out the Chokal Oreo cup. <laughs> hey everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome to the PTOR. We are looking at Oreo, the new support hero in the game. Sorry this is up a day or two late. I've just been busy, but uh, better late than never. So uh, here we go. I also thought it was hilarious. I mean, isn't Oreo on the enemy team? She's queued up with the Chokal, which I think is going to be a very powerful combo. But I just thought it was a laugh. They, we got a little Leoric on our team. So we got a little bit of a counter here. But uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this uh, particular game goes. I guess I'll join in with my teammates over here. So Oreo, what's she all about? What can she do? Well, she's the first support hero added to the game in almost a year, which is kind of crazy to think about the first proper support. Her Q is Sacred Sweep. It looks like this. It does this. Huja! Does bo uh, bonus damage in the center. So, uh, what's it? Double damage in the center? Yeah, okay. Double damage to people caught in the center. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, w is her heal. She heals by... Well, we have a trait. So, we put a trait on someone. Okay, that, that's kind of hard to hit. Uh, I'm going to grab this quest talent as well, so we can start stacking that up. Looks like... Uh, ooh, he already died. That's not ideal. What's our wave clear like? Wave clear's not too bad. It's not so bad. And look, we've got a lot of healing stored up already. So, we heal by generating hope. So, 40% of the damage we deal to heroes and 8% dealt to non-heroes is stored as energy. Pretty cool. Uh, how does that work? Uh, we can bestow an ally with hope as well. Mm, not quite landing that. Cool. Get out. Get away from me. Oh, that's not ideal. We can just we can do a big heal. Big heal. Oh, that's pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. We'll take it. We'll take it. Let's do another big heal. All right, we'll take that as well. Cool. Nice jerk. Take that. Get away from me. <laughs> that's kind of funny. All right, let's start out a heal. All right, that's pretty cool. So yeah, we put this on an ally while they remain near you. The damage they deal causes us to gain energy. So that's pretty sweet. Oh, I missed one of the minions. Um, but yeah, uh, we can only have one ally, you know, done at a time. We store up the heals, then we heal. Pretty cool. Get away from me. Our E is a net knockback. It does some damage. It knocks people back. What a surprise. Oh, okay. Didn't quite work. We got Immortal spawning here as well. She seems to have pretty cool sustained healing. She doesn't obviously have any mana cost. She's just all about bestowing hope. Actually, we're probably going to be pretty bad at uh, doing Immortals. We're not going to excel at that. Neither will Kerrigan. We'll try our best here. So yeah, this is E. It's a skill shot. Ooh, hang on one second here. So it's a skill shot. Look at that. We can aim it. Uh, knock people back. If we knock them into a wall, they take extra damage. I was kind of looking at him to maybe knock him back. Didn't quite manage to pull it off, though. And do what damage we can. Let's knock her back. Didn't get into her into a wall, but that's okay. That's going to hurt us a lot. Going to do a heal. Okay, cool. Do that. Going to bestow hope on him. Just going to try to survive this. Actually, we're going to leg it. Probably going to die. That's okay. Going to try our best not to die. We didn't die. That's good. Might die now, that's okay. Not gonna die, we gotta heal, we're fine. Not even close. That was pretty close. All right, cool. <laughs> Sorry, I only just... <laughs> oh, PTR, you gotta love PTR. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. We have like no mana cost, so that's kind of neat. We do a lot of healing. We're actually kind of beasting this down as well. Let's get up there and maybe help him. Do we need to help him? There is a range, as you see, on this hope generation. We're just going to use our wave clear to do this. I think we're going to get this as well. Increases sacred sweep radius. So this is what... Oh, it's way bigger. That's pretty sweet. We got a quest here. Increases the damage in the center uh, when we hit heroes. Pretty nice. Uh, Sergeant Hammer is, is probably dead. We're going to try to save her. No, she's dead. Okay. Rip. We're going to help our team then. Get out of here. Get out of here, bitch. Oh boy, I'm probably dead. I'm probably dead. Maybe not, maybe not. Oh, okay, I'm probably dead. Yo, me! Not even close. Not even close. Okay, it was pretty close. Did we win that? We won it! Wow, well, sweet! Wow! This has been a pretty intense game. Uh, yeah, so the options here at level 1, let's go over those and we'll just we'll come down here, I guess. Uh, you can increase the cast speed. That seems kind of useful, I guess, but the cast speed doesn't seem too bad. Maybe in a more intense team fight. This one seems kind of cool. You can stack up some damage. And the, ooh, the center damage, bonus damage is doubled. So I guess it does three times damage, seeing as the, the bonus damage is like, you do double damage. If you increase the, basically the 100% extra damage, that's you get 200% extra damage. Let's heal him up. 
So Leoric is our uh, marked target at the moment. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to be much easier to stack this quest as well. Let's put this on her. And let's lock him away. It didn't quite work the way I intended, but we'll take it. Actually, Leoric's probably going to stack up loads. We do AoE healing. That's pretty beast. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it an awful lot. Alright, let's knock him back. He might actually die. Wicked. Uh, cool. Sweet. Well played, too. That's pretty beautiful. We're doing a lot of healing. Uh, the, the idea is that, well, if our bestowed allies do kind of, you know, bonus damage. Well, we're doing a lot of... Please don't die. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Rip. <laughs> Rip. Dude, why are you tanking that? There's no need. There's no need. We're going to just stack up as much as we can. They're obviously coming. They're obviously all alive again. Yeah, that just really... Her wave clear is really pretty good. I like it a lot. Look at him running around his little legs. Look at him running around his little legs. Okay, we're not running away from this now. I'm slightly worried by this. Okay, that's not the target I fully intended to hit. We may die. It's possible. It's possible we're gonna die. I'm not gonna say probable, because it's not pro- Oh, that was pretty good right there. That was pretty good. Don't kill me, please. Get away. Okay, he died. That's unfortunate. Let's give Kerrigan a thing. Now, let's grab this. So, where am I? Here I am. Okay, well, no. let's just let's get out of here. See ya, see ya. Good, good effort, guys. I'm, try I'm trying to keep up with all these talents, and it's hard to. <laughs> so we can reduce the cooldown. The other, other options here, reducing the cooldown for each hero hit. Okay, I'm not sure that's going to be that great, because there is a bit of a cast time to this. So don't know how much you'll be able to spam it in the team fight. Let's help her out. Uh, Searing Light, you deal damage. Eh, with your heal, I think you want to focus more so on the healing. Um, the radius increase seems pretty strong. Where am I? Here I am. Here you go, you have that. Good. This is pretty cool. Uh, you can also make your E, this sort of skill shot knockback ching. So it hits the target, knocks them back, and they do more damage and yada yada yada. Let's just heal everyone. There we go. I think we're gonna give this to him. It's gonna be pretty good. And her damage isn't fantastic. It's not terrible, but it's not fantastic. It's not hit, knock him away, heal her up. Alright, wicked. I'm enjoying this. Oh. Damn it, I was trying to trying to get in for a good heal right there. Didn't quite work. Oh, she exploded. That was pretty sweet. I'm trying to heal you as much as I can. I'm trying as much as I can hard as I can! I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead! Immortal stop body blocking me, god damn it! No! Yes! <laughs> oh, so epic. So epic. Okay. Let's talk about level 7s. <laughs> Reducing the cooldown of your heal. Now, this one I don't get, to be honest with you, because... And look, we finished our quest, by the way. Um, this is consuming your energy, so I don't see how you'd ever be consuming enough energy to really make that worthwhile. Uh, over here, collecting a regen globe reduces the cost of your next heal. Okay, kind of see that, maybe. Doubles the energy stored from your basic attacks by quite a lot. That's kind of cool. Let's grab this. What's the range on this? Pretty short. Okay. I don't have anything to heal. Sorry. Okay. Let's knock him away. Okay, wicked. Okay, let's do that. That might help, sort of. Maybe. Not really. Sorry. I meant to heal Kerrigan. Didn't really. This is not going super well right now. Not gonna lie. Ow, go away, you. Oh, no, I missed. That's bad. That's very bad. He's coming for me. This jerk is coming for me. Here you go. Have a heal. Make some heals. Make the magic happen. He's coming for me. Ow, he got me. He got me. Damn it. Um, yeah, her ultimates. You have Resurrect. I didn't pick it up in this game. I do feel like this is gonna be the weaker one. So it's got a 90 second cooldown. This one is 60 second cooldown. You channel on the spirit of a dead ally for 3 seconds, bringing them back to life at 50% of their max health. So, the thing I see with this, I'm like, it's kind of like Divine Palm, but with a cast time when they're already dead. 
So situationally, that could be really good in some certain niches. But during a team fight, that could be very awkward depending on team comps. This seems pretty good. You put someone in stasis, then they explode for quite a lot of damage. I think that could be quite nice. Uh, for example, we're going to run in here. We're going to try safe start and hammer. Okay, no, she's dead. Never mind. We're going to tr try be the operative word here. Okay, that was pretty cool. Try to do our heals. All right, cool. Okay, I didn't quite mean to do that, but we'll take it. Wicked. I did far more there than I expected to. That's gone nuts. Double, triple kill. Not too bad. All right, just try and melt this thing down. Yeah, I'm not sure who I should be putting this uh, hope thing on. We've got a lot of potential high damage dealers on our team. Here, you can have a heal, buddy. There you go. Let's not stand in that. Sorry, buddy. Might have slightly zoned him into it. My bad. He's just making sure that they're not doing ours. Oh, they are doing ours. Are they? No, he's zoning them off. Kind of. That's not quite what I wanted to do. Uh, blinds enemies in the center, pushes enemy towards the center, knocks them further away. I'm not sure what's good here. Let's uh, push them towards the center. Displacements are always good. Someone died. The orc. That's okay. Coming in with the heal. Uh, Sergeant Hammer is back dooring, I believe. There we go. That should work. I tried. I tried. I tried my best. Try your best, but you don't succeed. What are they? What are they up to? <laughs> this is a crazy game. This is a crazy game. This uh, her E does not hit minions. Bear that in mind. Should make sure to have Leoric as my hope target. It's gonna start chalking up that damage. Displace him a bit. Didn't really notice that actually. Ow. Oh, actually doing anything. Get away from me. There we go. Thank you. He's gonna try kill me. He won't be able to. Oh no, maybe he will be able to. That was a, This was a mistake. It was a big mistake. That was a big, big mistake. He totally was able to kill me. I should have just run away. My bad. Over here, this is a really interesting talent here. So enemies hit by the center are blinded. And we have made the center quite big. That could be decent. Not really against this enemy team too much. But against certain teams, that could be really good. That's a long blind. Like, that's a long blind and an 8 second cooldown. That could be fantastic. Converging Force, I haven't noticed this really doing much, but Displacements are always good. Um, it can be very difficult for people to deal with. So that's why I went for this first. This is like my initial, what I feel is probably going to be the best talent build. Uh, Piercing Lash hits all enemies in a line. It's kind of small, so I don't think that will be that great. Uh, then Repelling Strike could be kind of good. Enemies hit or knocked further back. It could be good or bad, it depends. But I mean, Displacements are, are just solid all the time. So I'm trying to keep an open mind about that. Hello, friend. Oh, God. All right. Live. No, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, boy. That was that was terrible. I didn't really expect them all to run up here. Uh, I kind of expected they might spread out a bit more on the map. They just went full on YOLO top lane. Uh, and it worked out very well for them. Overall. Kill the character. Bliss. There you go. I wonder what the enemy uh, Oriole picked up. Doesn't matter, we're going to look at this first. Okay, so, this is a really cool tier as well. I have looked at her talent tiers before, obviously. Each maximum energy ray of heaven increases the maximum amount of energy. So, it gets harder to stack this up. There's no cap to this, but it gets harder and harder to actually get a max energy heal if you're constantly increasing what the max can be. So that's what makes it kind of interesting. We also have this, uh, allies with bestow hope gain 20% attack speed. That could be pretty good, considering, in fact, that's what we're going to get. And then... This is probably more useful in general. Allies gain 10% ability power. We're going to get the attack speed because the Auric will pick up the thing at level... Uh, we have to make sure to keep putting our trait on people. I'm not doing that too well because I'm concentrating on speaking. There we go. Now we can just stand in the center. What's the enemy up to? Are they just defending? No, oh, they're defending lanes. Okay, cool. Knock him back, stun him. Okay, wicked. Okay, that's not exactly what I wanted to, to do. We'll take it. It's not going too well for us right now. I'm gonna heal my allies. Knock him back, get out of here, bitch. Okay, that's not great either. 
Oh, he's trying to get in for heal. Uh oh, uh oh. Stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Rock and a dead place, more like. Uh, run! Run away! Run away! But hey, we're getting crazy split push, so this is actually working out fantastically. <laughs> uh, we're just got a Hearthstone, actually. Everyone's dead. Actually, Lyork will be back up soon. You know what? Let's just grab a healing thing and go help Lyork out. Help her buddy. Can we give him the D while we're while he's dead? I wonder. I doubt it. What's the range on this? I mean, give him the D now. Here you go. Have the D. Did I give him the D? There's the D. He is the D. Sweet. Okay. Kerrigan's up there. She just killed Abathur. That makes me sad. That really doesn't generate much hope for you. Yeah, I really want to get down to my teammates. I'm coming, boys. I'm coming, boys. They've gone back to defend their base, which is good for us. Stun him in. Excelente. Oh, so close, but not quite. They're all going to come kill us. We're going to be fighting a 4v5, which might go terribly. But we're going to do our best. I'm just going to focus on healing as best I can. Just do that for her. You can see our hope just chunks up from um, from this guy. It's kind of fantastic, actually. Not quite able to keep Leoric alive through all that. But Leoric will get stronger. Oh, damn it. The later we go in the game, that's for sure. The AoE healing in this is insane. Let's give Hammer more attack speed. No, Hammer. Hammer, there we go. Hammer, enjoy your attack speed, buddy. Try and knock him away, Hammer. Oh my god, this is nuts. This is nuts. Yeah, you're gonna die. I tried my best. Try. Oh, damn it. He got punted out of it. You try your best, but you don't succeed. No! No! I tried so hard! And I didn't succeed. I'm scared. Immortal, please! No! Oh, okay, I died. <laughs> well, we tried our best. But look at this. Three catapults on the core. That's pretty good. This has been a crazy game. This has been awesome. Um, so yeah, these are really interesting. Let's talk about these a little bit more now. I'm not concentrating on the gameplay. Bestow Hope ally gaining attack speed. I picked this up in this game. So Sergeant Hammer is going to scale fantastically with attack speed. Our hero damage is crazy high. I don't know why. Um, it's also going to scale really well with the Spectral Leech of Leoric. So that's why I picked it up. I think Wrath of Heaven will in most cases be more useful. We could lose the game right here. Did Abathur die as well? No, he made it out. That's good. We didn't even get any core damage. So Oh boy. Rip. Um... Yeah, she's kind of nuts. I feel like this is probably going to be more useful overall because it's always good. Like, we might legit lose the game right here. Sergeant Hammer needs to get back. Uh, no, I want to defend this, please. Before we lose the game. I can't even get to him. Okay, here, half attack speed. Right, go nuts. Go nuts, dude. Like, go absolutely ham on these jumps. There we go. Let's just protect him through all that. They're just hitting our core. Like, they don't give a shit. They don't give a shit anymore. I've given Hammer attack speed. I'm doing all I can. Ah, oh, they just won. No. Oh, it sucks balls, man. Get out. Damn it. Oh, damn it. That was a fun game, though. That was a fun game. Very ridiculous game. <laughs> but yeah, let's, uh, let's retreat back to... Uh, the base page and I kind of give my a, a bit of an overview of Oriel. This is the first game I've got to play on her so I apologize for my commentary. Perhaps it wasn't the best. Uh, we're just trying to focus as much as we could. Um, so I have to say like I was trying to do as much wave clear and stuff as possible. Our siege damage is still pretty bad. Wow. Jesus. He did none? Maybe? Why is our siege damage so low? I don't know. I don't know. This is a weird game. This is a weird game. We did a lot of hero damage. Uh, that's very interesting. I'm surprised our damage numbers are this high. And I'm curious as to why that is. Now, interestingly, look, her healing is far, far higher than us. But that is because of the Oriel and um, Cho'Gal combo. The reason being that 
Okay, in fact, let's just, we don't even need to look at it. Actually, let's go over my talents. This is my talent build. Increasing clarity, majestic span, empathic link, crystal ages. Not sure about this one, actually. This is the one I'm kind of going, eh. Uh, Will of heaven. And yeah, I think apart from that, it's a pretty good talent build. So let's get back here. And uh, yeah, let's talk a bit about Oriole. So this Bestow Hope, your trait, it's all about putting out an ally that does damage. And then also nicely, with that level 7, it's also 25% of damage taken. So this helps you, it just, it, this is what powers your heals. This is obviously why it's so good on Cho'Gal. You put it on Cho'Gal. Number one, if you have Empathic Link, well, Cho'Gal takes a lot of damage. He's got a huge health pool, so that's powering it up a lot. And then you're also getting the damage done by both Cho and Gal. So it's going to just charge up like absolute nuts. Crystal Aegis can also be used to protect, obviously, both of them at once. Uh, or even resurrect both of them at once, I suppose. Which uh, both are pretty fantastic. So she's got really nice synergies there. Um... Her healing actually seems fairly decent. Uh, it felt a little bit better than I expected. Like, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. It, obviously, with knockbacks, it can be a little bit difficult to hit because it's like this AoE skill shoddy type thing. It's not a point and click heal like many other uh, healers have. Uh, it is a skill shot, sort well, sort of ranged AoE skill shot. Uh, it's pretty cool. I, I find her very enjoyable, I have to say. I really love the design they're going for with Oriel. I have to say that. I feel like with Oriel, they've really taken on board a lot of the feedback that people have given regarding supports and making plays in the game. So, for example, it's not about mana man mana management. You you are kind of empowered to do damage. He's a hard support. Yeah, that makes sense. You're sort of empowered to do damage because dealing damage does power your heals. Um, Sacred Sweep is really cool. I really like this. Uh, you know, it's obviously the skill shot trying to hit people in the center if possible. Um, I really didn't notice the converging thing at 13. I really didn't notice that doing anything, but oh well. Um, it's, yeah, it's, her wave clear actually seems fairly decent, you know, especially for a support. It's pretty damn good. Most supports have terrible wave clear. Orioles seems pretty strong. And also bear in mind, it, it doesn't cost you any mana. The, like, the only thing this costs you is the opportunity to use it on a hero, really. Uh, uh, it's still generating, like, healing. It's still generating hope when you use it on minions, so it's pretty nice. Um, I think it's pretty cool. And, yeah, I mean, looking at her kit, I mean, you've got an AoE heal on a low cooldown, obviously depending on how much damage you do, but pretty decent. And then a knockback that can also do a bit of extra damage and stun people if they hit terrain. Her kit is pretty solid. Like, her base kit is pretty damn solid uh, in terms of, like, looking at a support kit. She's got a knockback with a stun pretty useful she's got aoe damage which is just wave clear and then she's doing healing so yeah it's pretty solid i mean it's relatively comparable to Rhaegar in a sense you know you've got some aoe damage kind of like lightning shield you've got a knockback sort of like you know the totem's utility sort of and then you got an aoe heal it's sort of similar ish in that sense if you get what i mean uh the trait seems cool obviously i didn't have it on all the time and it's going to be important to have it on an ally all the time um, because, yeah, you, I mean, damage they deal causes you to gain energy. It doesn't say quite how much energy it causes you to gain. I guess it's going to be 40% of the damage they deal as well, and 8% to non-heroes. I, I assume it's the same, but I don't know. I'll have to confirm that for you. Um, and yeah, Resurrect, again, the, com the comparison I have to make is to Divine Palm, which is the most obvious comparison. Um, within a team fight. Divine Palm just seems like a better Resurrect. It's got a shorter cooldown. Boom, you pop it. If you pop it right, it just it pops someone back, probably with more than 50% max life. And instantly, it's an instant cast. Um, and this, by the way, has a very short range, like really, really short range. It's level 20s for these, if you're curious. Diamond Aegis. I'll go over these as well. I didn't go over them in the video. When Crystal Aegis expires, it grants a shield that reduces damage taken by 50% for 4 seconds. That's pretty damn solid, so it gives someone Hardened Shield. That's like, yeah, it's basically a targetable uh, Hardened Shield, which is pretty solid. Uh, it's not amazing, but it's pretty good. Especially if they're kind of in, if you catch them in low health or way out of position, it really double saves them, which is pretty cool. Light Speed is this one, increases the healing of Resurrect to their full health. They also gain. 200% increased move speed that decays over 4 seconds. Seems okay as well. Not amazing, perhaps. This one seems cool. So, Angelic Flight, so you can fly to a chosen location. That will obviously be really good on global maps. It gives her global at level 20. But again, it's not something... Again, I don't think you ever rely on your level 20s when you're picking a hero. Um, because a lot of games, you don't even get to level 20. So, bear that in mind. And then Shield of Hope, uh, sort of like a Storm Shield. 
Uh, you grant nearby allied heroes a shield equal to half of the amount of health they're missing. Um, so it's like a storm shield and low health. Um, it's interesting. Uh, it's really interesting. I just I like the fact that they're doing. They've taken a generic talent and given it a bit of a spin. I don't know if it's good yet. It seems cool. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about that. It could be good. Could be bad. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, your talents seem really cool. I also I have to say I love that what they've done. It's like this one is like all AOE damage. Cool. This one is like kind of more utility. This one is like, all right, do you want to heal better? How do you want to heal better? Level 10, you got the two things. This one is like, all right, do you want to make your Q a bit better? It's basically all, um, this is all sort of crowd control utility. So do you want to push them in? Do you want to blind them? Uh, do you want to you know, knock back multiple people or do you want to knock them away further? Cool. This one is, how do you want to buff your allies? Or, or you get a quest talent. Okay, I think this, I'm not sure about this one. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. That's an in it's really interesting. Um, we'll have to see, obviously. This is PTR. Bear that in mind. We'll have to see when we actually get into the live servers and actually get into ranked games to actually see how good heroes are. Uh, heroes can seem better or worse than they actually are in PTR. Usually better than they are. Um, Will of Heaven. Allies with Bestow Hope. Gain 20% attack speed. and or So it, you're mostly going to be choosing between this. Do you have an ally you want to boost their attack speed? Or do you have an ally that you want to boost their ability power? Again, the ability power will generally be the most useful one. But this will be obviously very good on specific heroes. And people might even pick specific heroes to fit in with uh, Will of Heaven. Which is pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. They might pick someone like Raynor or Vala or Greymane or what have you. Like someone who really benefits from attack speed. They'll pick them. I'm curious. I'm curious which one is better on Lunara. I suspect the ability damage is more uh, better on Lunara, which is kind of funny. But there you go. I mean, my initial impression of her is that she should be pretty damn strong. I'm curious if they'll buff Resurrect. Because um, I'm not sure if it's that good. Um, I suspect Crystal Aegis is more useful. It does a lot of damage. And it also lets people dodge like heroics and stuff like that. It seems pretty cool. I feel Resurrect might be a bit weak. Again, I'll have to try them all out. But her base kit, I'm impressed with her. And more importantly, I'm really impressed with her design. She seems really, really fun. It's just fun playing a support. No mana. All focusing on like, all right, how am I doing damage? How are my allies doing damage? Cool. Then knocking people back and stunning them. Doing AoE damage. It's a really fun thing that you're doing. She's really, really cool. And again, like there's there's pretty cool gameplay in all of her stuff. So I love it. I love what they've done with her. She's awesome. Here's the skins real quick. Boom. Here's a color. Here's a color. There's the master skin, there's a the color, there's a the color, demon skin. I think this changes her effects and her voice as well. There's a the color. There you go. That's Oriel, guys. Sorry it was up a day late. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'm, like, the queue times are ridiculous. Uh, like, oh, Jesus, it's so long. So, 20 minutes? Is the, I think that's 20 minutes, yeah. So, yeah, uh... I had to wait almost over half an hour to get this game. So, yeah, um, I don't think I'll get to play her much on PTR. There's just not many people on the PTR at the moment because the only thing really to play, honestly, is Oriel. She's the main thing here. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> oh, well. I will play her, obviously, a lot when she comes out on live. I think it's fantastic. There's a new support for the game. Make more supports like this. It's awesome. Thank you for watching, everyone. Give it a like if you liked it. And let me know what you guys think of Oriel as well, if you've got a chance to play her, or just what you think, if you haven't either. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time for more Heroes of the Storm. Bye-bye.